new iPad mini 7 is out, so let's talk about it. Technically, it's called the iPad mini A17 Pro because the names couldn't get harder. What's wrong with naming your iPad the 7th gen? Because guess what came after the 6th gen? The 7th gen. What comes after the 7th gen? You'll never guess it. The 10th gen. No, it's the freaking 8th gen. So I'm excited, though, for when the A18 or 20 A Pro iPad comes out. That'll be cool. So the iPad mini 7th gen, which is what I'm going to call it, is here. It's getting mixed reviews. For one, I know you're wondering about the Jelly Scroll. Okay, of course, I don't have the iPad with me, but the Jelly Scroll issue, I've heard some people say it's fixed. Some people say it's not fixed. It's like more in the middle. I think that from the consensus right now is the Jelly Scroll is slightly fixed, not fully fixed. That kind of sucks. I don't know what Apple is thinking. Apple just does not care or pay attention to people in that case, and that's frustrating. But it's got a couple of new colors. It's slightly different purple, a similar blue to the iPhone 15 base models from last year. Why not put ultramarine, teal, and pink on it? Who knows? Those are beautiful colors. These new colors are just kind of more muted like always, but here we are, whatever. Now has Apple Pencil Pro support, and it, because Apple Pencil, Pencil Pro support is here, that means the Apple Pencil Series 2 support is gone. So if you had an old iPad Air or old iPad Mini and you want the new iPad, you have to get a new pencil with it for it to work, which really sucks, okay? I really want to get a new iPad Mini. I sold my iPad Pro a couple years ago. I, want, I still have the Apple Pencil. And if I get the Series 7, I need to get a new pencil. So of course, I'm just going to buy the Series 6. Now, the differences of the 6 and the 7 are pretty big if you want Apple intelligence. Also, because Apple intelligence, it has double the RAM. It now has eight gigs of RAM, which double the RAM is really, really good and double the base storage for the same price. So that's very good, meaning essentially you can have more apps open at once. It'll be able to run more things at the same time, which is super duper cool. Is it worth having to pay another 130 bucks for a new pencil? I don't know. I'm not gonna use any of the pro features on the Apple Pencil Pro, but that box is so cool. So I'm really curious, what do you think about the new iPad mini? I mean, the iPad mini has had a interesting run of its life, kind of like the iPhone minis. It doesn't sell as well as its bigger siblings, but it sells good enough for Apple to keep it on the docket. Of course, the iPhone mini just kind of died immediately after two years. So I wonder if that's why Apple isn't taking as much care of the new iPad mini, because the iPad mini really should have gotten to me, a better processor for an entertainment device. I mean, it's small enough to be an entertainment device. Why not have a better screen, brighter screen, a mini LED or OLED screen? Yeah, it'll probably go up in price. I get it. And I feel like it's because that those are two such pro features for the iPad that Apple wants to save it for the iPads that sell more. They don't want to waste the money and time on it if it's not gonna sell that much. Again, just like the iPhone mini. And if you wanna know more about the iPad mini history, I will have a video linked somewhere over here. So Apple Intelligence is coming to this thing. Apple Intelligence comes out in a couple of days, if it's not out already. And part two of it will come out in a couple of months after that. And that'll be really, really cool. I don't see much use for it on an iPad as I would on a phone that I use every day. But hey, it's here, it's coming. So the iPad mini seven has a faster USB-C transfer speeds, no faster charging, the processor is slightly faster, but I mean, everything is already so fast, it doesn't really matter. Again, I think the RAM is going to make some of the biggest difference though in power on this thing. It'll be fine for games. It's not gonna be great for games like one of the new pro iPhones from last year or this year. And again, that's just because it's not getting the kind of love and treatment that these other products that sell more are getting. I would love to see an iPad mini pro someday, just like I would like to see an iPhone mini pro someday because the minis are some of my favorite devices that Apple makes. Everything but the watch, I want to be in mini. So those are my thoughts on the new iPad mini. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, the shot on my phone.